So we're reading the Bhagavad Gita, chapter 18. That's the final chapter of the Bhagavad Gita. And we're, we're on text number 32. <laughs> Is it written on the board? No, it's not really written on. No, 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 yeah. Oh. If you have a mobile phone, it's good to put the Bhagavad Gita into your mobile phone and then you can read regularly Bhagavad Gita. Nowadays, you don't need to keep a big book, you know, you can have it all in the mobile phone, soft copy. So, Manyate Tamasa Prita Manyate Tamasa Prita Sarvartan Viparitam Scha Sarvartan Viparitam Scha Buddhisa Parta Tamasi Buddhisa Parta Tamasi Adharmam Dharmam Itiya Adharmam Dharmam Itiya Manyate Tamasavrita Manyate Tamasavrita Sarvartan Viparitam Scha Sarvartan Viparitam Scha Buddhisa Parta Tamasi Buddhisa Parta Tamasi Adharmam Dharma Itiya Adharmam Dharma Itiya Manyate Tamasavrita Manyate Tamasavrita Sarvartan Viparitam Scha Sarvartan Viparitam Scha Buddhisa Parta Tamasi Buddhisa Parta Tamasi Adharmam Dharmam Itiya Adharmam Dharmam Itiya Manyate Tamasavrita Manyate Tamasavrita Sarvartan Viparitam Scha Sarvartan Viparitam Scha Buddhihi Sat Sapata Tamasi Buddhihi Sapata Tamasi Adharmam Dharmam Itiya Adharmam Dharmam Itiya Manyate Tamasavrita Manyate Tamasavrita Sarvartan Viparitam Scha Sarvartan Viparitam Scha Buddhi Sapata Tamasi Buddhi Sapata Tamasi Anyone else like to chant? Well, we are all full of Lumbringla. Adharmam Dharmam Itiya Manyate Tamasavrita Sarvartan Viparitam Scha Sarvartan Viparitam Scha Buddhihi Sapartha Tamasi Buddhihi Sapartha Tamasi Adharmam Adharmam Irreligion Adharmam Dharmam Dharmam Religion Dharmam Iti Iti Thus Thus Var Ya Ya Which Which It is Manyate Manyate Things Things Tamasa Tamasa by illusion. By, by illusion. Ariyamya. Avrita. Avrita. Cover. Cover. Cover of Patu. Sarva Artan. Sarva Artan. All things. All things. Illavishangri. Viparitan. Viparitan. 
in the wrong direction. In the wrong direction. Tawaran or hill. Cha. Cha. Also. Also. Buddhi. Buddhi. Intelligence. Intelligence. Buddhi. Sa. Sa. That. That. Adu. Parta. Parta. Osano Prita. Osano Prita. Una Prada in my name. Tamasi. Tamasi. In the mode of ignorance. In the mode of ignorance. Tamasa Gunati. Translation. That understanding which considers irreligion to be religion and religion to be irreligion under the spell of delusion and darkness and strives always in the wrong direction of Sanoparta is in the mode of ignorance. மொழிபெயர்ப்பு அறியாமை மற்றும் இருளின் மயக்கத்தின் கீழ் தர்மத்தை அதர்மமாகவும் அதர்மத்தை தர்மமாகவும் அறிந்து எப்போதும் தவறான வழியில் முயற்சி செய்யும் புத்தி பார்த்தனே சமோகுணத்தில் இருப்பதாகும் of the way it should. It accepts religion which are not actually religious and rejects actual religion. Men in ignorance understand a great soul to be a common man and accept a common man as a great soul. They think truth to be untrue and accept untruth as truth. In all activities, they simply take the wrong path. Therefore, their intelligence is in the mode of ignorance. ஒருமுறை அகில உலக கிருஷ்ணபக்தி குழு ஸ்தாபகாச்சார தேவத்திரான சொன்ன ஷீல பிரபுபாத அவர்கள் சமோ குணத்தின் புத்தி எவ்வாறு செயல்பட வேண்டுமோ அதற்கு எதிர் வழியில் எப்போதும் செயல்படுகின்றது அது உண்மையான தர்மத்தை புறக்கணித்து தர்மம் இல்லாதவற்றை ஏற்கின்றது அறியாமையில் உள்ள மனிதர்கள் மகாத்மாவை சாதாரண மனிதனாகவும் சாதாரண மனிதனை மகாத்மாவாகவும் புரிந்து கொள்கின்றனர் உண்மையை பொய்யாகவும் பொய்யை உண்மையாகவும் அவர்கள் எண்ணுகின்றனர் எல்லா செயல்களிலும் அவர்கள் தவறான பாதையையே ஏற்கின்றனர் எனவே அவர்களது புத்தி தமோ குணத்தில் இருப்பதாகும்
So one of the subjects which he'd been teaching was the three modes of material nature, what we call, well, you, you all know Tamagun and Rajagun, and there's also Sattvagun, the three modes of nature. If we talk about Rajagun, Tamagun, if I say the mode of passion, the mode of ignorance, people don't know what is that. If we say Rajagun and Tamagun, then everybody knows. So these three modes are in the, 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 the characteristics of the material nature. There are two natures. There's the material nature, but there's also a spiritual nature. The spiritual nature is above these modes of nature. When we say gun, tamagun, rajagun, guna means rope. So we should understand we're a prisoner to these things. We're tied to, to do things a certain way, by we're forced to do them. We're not free. We're not. It's not like we're liberated. We, the goal is to get liberated, to get above the modes. But we're not free. We're, we're not liberated. We're under the control of the modes of the material nature. Lord Krishna had described the material nature earlier in the Bhagavad Gita. And in one of the verses he said, Prakrite kriyamana ni gunai karmani sarvashaha ahankara vimud atma kartaham iti manyate. The meaning is the, the bewildered 
spirit soul thinks himself to be the doer of activities which are actually carried out by the material nature. Hmm. When we're successful, we're thinking, I did it, but actually we're just the instrument, it's done by the material nature. Maybe you take part in a competition and you win the competition, you win a prize. It's not that you did it, you won it, it's the material nature allowed you to do it, did it for you. Somebody's got good karma and they, they win, they enjoy success, opulence. Someone else has got some bad karma. They lose all their money. They fail. They have a lot of problems in their life. This, it's not by chance, but this is the material nature giving us the karma. Everyone wants to enjoy, everyone would like to be rich, only few people can do it. Lord Krishna is describing about understanding. The underst understanding is also under the modes of nature. Everything is influenced by the modes of nature. Something is in the mode of goodness, something is in the mode of passion, something is in the mode of just like cows are gentle creatures, they're more in the mode of goodness. They eat grass and they give milk. They don't kill people, they're gentle creatures. But then you've got animals like lions and tigers. They're more in the mode of passion. They hunt, they kill. And then you've got animals in the mode of ignorance. They, they, may, live, they may live in filthy conditions, They're, they will bite innocent people. So, food is also influenced the most, there are different modes of nature, food in goodness, food in passion, food in ignorance. <coughs> We, we can live in the countryside, that's more the mode of goodness. 
நாங்கள் வந்து ஒரு என்னென்னு சொல்லுவாங்க கிராமப்புறத்தில் வசிக்கும் பொழுது அங்கே இருக்கக்கூடிய உணவு வந்து சத்துவ குணமாக இருக்கும் கிராமப்புறத்தில் அமைத்தால் சத்துவ குணமாக இருக்கும் live in the countryside away from the noise and hustle of cities in the peace and quiet of nature breathe fresh air and the nagar 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 prathin satham undum illamal and arumiyana suttu chulal nalla 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 kaattu idellam and the grama purangalle irukku and we can look we can live in the mode of passion in cities cities are very passionate places a lot of activity takes place so nagarapuramalle vaarbavargal ange avadanikkalam rajo rajo gunam teevira gunathai ange paarkalam rajo gunam the symptom of the mode of passion of intense activity and people have many desires mikavum mummuramana nadavadikkai leedu padirukkaranga andha makkal adhu neriya aasegal irukku we are all living in city here we are all influenced by the atmosphere of the city life naangal ellorume inge nagarathile vasithu kondirukrom indha nagara vaarkaiyinaale naangal ellorume paadikapatirukrom when you go to countryside you feel relaxed you feel calm you feel peaceful ipo neenga gramapurathukku poninga endru sonna neenga vandu migavum or amaidhiyana soolal mana sandoshamaga irukkum நீங்கள் ரிலாக்ஸ் ஆக இருப்பீங்க எல்லாம் எல்லாத்தையும் விட்டுட்டு பட் வேன் வேர் ஹியர் இன் த சிட்டி அதர்ஸ் அ லாட் ஆஃப் டிசையர்ஸ் ஆர் டிசையர்ஸ் இன்க்ரீஸ் இந்த நகரப்புற வாழ்க்கையில் நகரப்புறங்களில் பார்த்தா இந்த ஆசைகள் எப்போ பார்த்தாலும் கூடிக்கொண்டே இருக்கும் வி சி சோ மெனி ஷாப்ஸ் அண்ட் தே ஹவ் சோ மெனி டிஃப்ரெண்ட் ஐட்டம்ஸ் தேர் ஆஃபரிங் அண்ட் வி பிகம் அட்ராக்டிவ் த மைண்ட் பிகம்ஸ் அட்ராக்டிவ் வி ஆர் திங்கிங் ஐ வாண்ட் நிறைய கடைகள் எல்லாம் பார்ப்போம் ஒவ்வொரு கடையிலும் ஒரு விதம் விதமான சாமான் எல்லாம் வச்சிருப்பாங்க மனம் எல்லாத்தையும் பார்த்து ஆசைப்படும் எனக்கு அது வேணும் இது வேணும் என்று அந்த ரஜோ குணம் தீவிர குணம் அறியாமை குணம் இருக்கிறது அறியாம குணத்தில் இருக்கிறது எப்படி என்று சொன்னா நீங்க பார்ப்பீங்க இந்த மதுபான கடைகளில் போய் இருப்பார்கள் இல்லாட்டி இந்த சூதாட்ட கிடங்குகள் கசினோ போன்றவர்களில் போய் இருப்பார்கள் மதத்துக்கு எதிரான விடயங்களிலே வேதங்கள் சொல்வதற்கு எதிரான விடயங்களிலே மக்கள் ஈடுபட்டிருப்பார்கள் so lord krishna is telling us that understanding can be also in the mode of ignorance avaradan bhagavan krishna vengalukku kuri kurugra inda tamo gunathile kuda naan sila purindunarukku naan oru sila vishayangala purindukollalam the teacher may ask the student do you understand the teacher kekra oru maanavanitta ungal kulamicha and the student doesn't want to appear foolish and they they would say to the teacher oh yes yes i understand appo maanavanukku vandha teacher ta kaati kolla irupam illa thanakku ulanga illa endru solli avar teacher ku summa thaliya aagudhar ya ya enakku ulangi idilla but they know they didn't understand the tall you are they understood everything in the wrong way ana ummayagave avargalukku adu ulanga illa then avar pulayana vadiyile ulangi veikkirukkar so that is understanding in the mode of ignorance adu than tamo gunathile ariyama gunathile oru vishayangala purindukolvadu so sometimes people think what is religion is actually it's not actually religion but it's irreligion sila nera makkal endru nipparga idu than samayam endru nipparga idu than madam endru nipparga unmai adu madam alla some people may say my religion is to go to the football and watch the football match every saturday sila agal ne paral ennudaiya samayam vandha enna sonna ovvor sanikkalamaya football paapadu or my religion is to go to drink beer ennudaiya madam enna sonna poi beer kudipadu they are thinking this is my religion adha enna nikkinam idhu dhaan ennudaiya madam i was in london we were doing sankirtan 
in London. We, we would go every day in the streets of London. There's one big street in London, Oxford Street. And it's a big shopping street. And devotees, we would go there and chant Hare Krishna every day. நாகரசங்கீர்த்தனம் <laughs> வந்து <laughs> So people have that kind of understanding and we're influenced by the material energy to think in the wrong ways. Yeah, and people are often tricked and cheated. They think they can they think they recognize someone as being a holy person adikadi ipdi makkal ella mosadi seyapadukkaru vemaatra padukkaru endru sonna avan avanikina ivar dhaan ivar oru punidamana nabar endru oru ara paathu nikkina just like in ramayana in the past times of lord drama you know he gone to the forest with mother sita and lakshman ipa ramayana thula naanga paathum endru sonna ramar enna seyrar thayar sita yudanam anga lakshmanodaram kaatukku pogurar and ravana wanted to kidnap sita so he asked marichi to help him he told marich i want you to distract lord ram take him away so i can kidnap sita apa ravana ravana ku vandu sita deviye kadatha vendum endra aasai vandirukku appo avar enna seyra marichi idam udavi kerukkar so marich took the form of a golden deer and sita saw the deer and she was attracted to the deer and she asked lord rama oh please get me that deer so mariji vandu or or maan thangamayana maan vadivile maan vadivile avar vandare appo sita devi and maane paathu aasai pattu rama kitta kitta enak and maan venum undu so lord rama left sita with lakshman and the care of lakshman and he went to find out to get the deer for sita ஆகவே பகவான் ராமச்சந்திரமூர்த்தி அங்கே சீதா தேவியை லட்சுமணன் விட்டு விட்டு அவர் அந்த மானை பிடித்து வர சென்றார் பட் வால் ராம் வாஸ் சேசிங் ஆஃப்டர் மரிச்சி at that time ravan came and he wanted to kidnap sita அப்ப அந்த நேரத்திலே மரிச்சி ராமன் ராமர் தேடி சென்ற நேரத்திலே ராவணன் வந்து சீதையை கடத்த முயன்றார் so then Lord Rama fired an arrow and he shot the deer he shot Marichi and but Marichi called out he tricked them he called out oh ram oh lakshman oh sita help me and the nerathile anga bhagavan ramachandra marichi and the maanukku or ambai vittar amba uttona and marichi enna seidha avaru vandu ramachandra murthi in kuralile eema avargal eema atruvadhaaga lakshmana sita endru koopural vittar and when lakshman and sita heard the voice sita became worried and she said to lakshman go and help my husband he needs your help sita devi migavum kavale arinda avasana lakshman udadiya sendru enude kanavare kaapaatunga avaru udavi thevai padugirathu and lakshman said no it's a trick but lakshman. sita said no i'm worried about my husband you should go and help him appa lakshman nu sonna illa idhu oru tandram ராவணன் 
லக்ஷ்மணன் போக வேண்டி வந்து விட்டது அவர் சீதாதேவி விட்டு போயிட்டார் அவர் போனோன்னா ராவணனுக்கு வந்த ஒரு துறவி ஒரு ஒரு புனித துறவி போல ரோடம் பூண்டு How does the holy person look? You know, they have this saffron cloth on, and he had a beard, and he had the rudrasha around his neck. So, he's Ravan, he's a big demon, but he's coming dressed like a holy person. யாருமே <laughs> But whenever he entered his beer would but catch fire. And the photo could lay around and sit up behind the photo, but not yet on earth to one day. So he had to get Sita to come out. So he, oh, my mother, oh, daughter, please help me, give me some arms. Can, please come and give me some arms. But Ravan and Turavi Bada Kile, the Mahale, Mahale, I will say, 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 And Mother Sita thought he was a real holy person. She got, she brought fruit and she came out from the, the barrier that she was in, where she was protected. She came out and she was kidnapped by Ram. She thought he was a holy man, but he tricked her and he kidnapped her and took her away to Lanka. So sometimes people are tricked like this. We, we look at someone, we think, oh, he looks like a very holy person. இவ்வாறு சில மக்கள் எங்களை ஏமாற்றி விடுகிறார்கள் நாங்க ஒருத்தர பாப்போம் நாங்க நெப்பமா இவர் ஒரு மிகப்பெரிய துறவி என்று சொல்லி அவருடைய கண்கள் பலபடுக்கிறது ஒரு துறவி போன்று உடை அணிந்திருக்கிறார் He must be a holy person. You don't know who is Ravan and who is not. How can you tell? You have to hear. Just like one time one devotee came to Prabhupada He came to Prabhupada and he said, Swamiji, I'm looking for a guru. So Prabhupada said to him, what is the qualification of a guru? The person said, I don't know. Then Prabhupada said, then if you don't know, how will you find a guru? If you don't know what the qualification of a guru is, how will you find one? So someone may be dressed like a holy man. How will you know if he's a holy man or not? சில பேர் புனித துறவி மேல் உட குழுப்பு போட்டிருப்பார்கள் எப்படி உங்களுக்கு தெரியும் அவர் புனித துறவியா இல்லையா என்று well you you we see people they're dressed like holy men but sometimes they're also uh, they're taking some pipe they're smoking some pipe or they're drinking some alcohol இல்ல சில நேரம் புடி துறவி மேல் உடுப்பு போட்டிருப்பார்கள் ஆனா சில நேரம் 
so we can understand that their habits are not very good. How do we know who is the holy person? We have, we have to hear from them. We have to hear what do they say. And we have to see what is their behavior. Just like there was one holy man, he said, I never touch money. But all of it, he had all the he had a lot of money. All his all his students were taking care of the money for him. But everybody thought, oh, he's a very holy person. He never touches money. So Srila Prabhupada said, is it they can give the money to me, I will spend it all for Krishna. So we have to understand everything in the proper way. People in the mode of ignorance, they see everything the opposite from the way it is. Means people who are good, they will think they're bad people. And the bad people will think they're very good people. Oh, he's a drunkard. Oh, he's a, he's a drug addict. Oh, he's a very good man. Oh, he's a big crook. He cheated so many people. He made a lot of money. We say, oh, he's a very great man. Yeah, it's very common, right? There's a lot of men like that. <laughs> So that is the influence of the mode of ignorance. We see things not the way they are, but the opposite of the way they are. How to get out of the mode of ignorance? We have to be helped by the spiritual teacher. Just like today I was praying, I said, Om Agyana Timarandasya. I was born in ignorance. I was born in ignorance. But my spiritual teacher opened my eyes with the light of knowledge. So, we are like that. When we come into the material world in the beginning, we don't know anything. We have to learn. We have to get education. Every country in the world, they spend money on education. They build universities and schools and colleges to educate people. But that education is all the material knowledge. We, we need to be educated in about spiritual knowledge also. 
ஆனால் நாங்கள் ஆன்மீக அறிவை பெற்றுக் கொள்வதும் எங்களுக்கு மிக அத்தியாவசியம் தேவையானது just what we can see universities and colleges that often the people who are going there have so many bad habits ningale paakrama neriya periya periya palgalai kalangal en periya periya padippella padintha aakalukku kooda neriya ketta palakkangal irukkirathu you may be a big professor in the university you, and you have so many degrees but you may have so many bad habits நீங்கள் பெரிய பல்கலைக்கழக விரிவுரையாளர்களாக இருக்கலாம் ஏன் அப்படி இருந்தா கூட அவரோட பெரிய ஒரு ஆளா இருந்தா கூட நிறைய கெட்ட பழக்கங்கள் அவரிடம் இருக்கு நீங்க பார்க்கலாம் Oh we think oh he's a very great man oh he's a very learned man he's a big scholar he's the professor நாம நினைப்போம் ஆ அவர் ஒரு மிக மிக பெரிய படித்த அறிஞர் ஏன் பெரிய ஒரு உயர்ந்த மனிதர் ஏன் அப்பா நாங்க நினைப்ப அவரை பற்றி he's a meat eater he's a drunkard is a gambler is a womanizer he has so many bad habits avu vetti saapuduvara irupa then kudigaranaga irupa pangalukku pinnala poravaraga irupa soodaaduvaraga irupa neriya ketta palakkanga avu irukkalam i remember when i was at university i studied at the university and i remember going to some of the professors rooms so much smoke so much they 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 sit there they would smoke all day smoke cigarettes and just so much tobacco and, and the room is so dirty and untidy naan naan kuda naan palayale kalathile padithukondirundhen appozhudhu naan sila virugurayaalargaludaiya and araiki selven hostel in araiki anga pona appo paathalum ore pugai mandalamaga irukkum ellam ellam oru oothiyaga irukkum ange they have no standard of cleanliness or hygiene yeah suttam suttamaga irukkamaatargal avargal en swadharamaga irukkamaatargal so what is real education avargalude unmayana kalvi arivu enna well education begins to understand who am i kalvi arivu eppa thodangudhu endru sonna naan yaar endradai purindukolvadhilirundhu thodangudhu to understand the difference between the body and the soul in the udalukkum aanmaavukkum irukkira vithyasathai purindukolvadile thodangirathu one who knows that then he is the educated person yaar oru var idai arindukolvaro avar dhaan unmayana kalvi katra nabar so we are we are we trying to give that kind of education we want to we are for, we feel ourselves very fortunate to get that education and we want to also share it to give it to others ama ni avvagayana and arivai makkalukku kalviye makkalukku kodupadhu naanga muyarchi seigirom naanga naanga and kalviye naanga pettukolvadhukka naanga adishtam adaindavallaga irundhom and kalviye pettukolvadhukku ipo naanga enna seigirom adai mattavargalukkum viniyogikkom so lord krishna is so kind he spoke himself this knowledge of bhagavad gita we are distributing to everyone avare bhagavan shri krishna migavum karanai vaindavar avar inda arivai inda kalviye makkal anaivarkum kodupadakkaga inda bhagavad gita pesi irukkirar and he sends his devotees also to enlighten us to teach us adhe pondu thanudaiya bhaktargalaiyum engalukku engalukku andha oliyai ootuvadakkaga avar anuppi irukkirar so we feel very indebted very grateful to them therefore we cannot give up their lotus feet avare na nangal avargalukku migavum kadamai pottirukkom appadi patta uyanda bhaktargalukku avare avarude thaamarai paadangalai nangal uppavum kai vidu kai vittu vida maatom okay any question ningal edavadhu kelvi kelvi irukkirala yes Uh, Guru Maharaj, you said uh, uh, that we are uh, prisoners uh, uh, and we are tied by these gunas. Uh, is this gunas from the previous birth or uh, some uh, like uh, how we, how how we are influenced? Like uh... yes, it's, we have these from our previous life according to our nature in the past. we've taken this birth the according to our 
sanskars, the karmas that we have, that we from our past life, our activities, and so they place us into a particular society and a particular family, and we develop particular nature. A association also affects us a lot. How we, who we associate with, and where we associate, will influence us. குறிப்பிட்ட <laughs> ஒரு குறிப்பிட்ட சேலை செய்கிறேன் குறிப்பிட்ட நிலையில வாழ்கிறேன் எல்லாமே அந்த போன பிறவில என்னுடைய ஆசைகள் விருப்பங்களுக்கு ஏற்ப இந்த பிறவிலும் அமைகிறது என்று சொன்ன நாங்களும் அதே போன்று அண்ணங்களுடன் நாங்கள் சேர்ந்திருந்தோம் என்று சொன்னா நல்ல மனிதர்களுடன் சேர்ந்திருந்தோம் சகவாசம் வைத்திருந்தோம் So this Krishna conscious society is to provide association for people who want to cultivate their spiritual life. In the Krishna Bhakti Yekam Mandu, Thangaludaya Anmiha Valvai, Valamaki Kolodakum, Munneti Kolodakum, Virumbu Makkadu Kaha, Itha, in the Krishna Bhakti Yekam Irukkuradu. You can come, chant Hare Krishna, hear about, discuss the topics from Bhagavad Gita, learn about it. வரலாம்ாரணம்ாரணம்ாரணம்ாரணம்ாரணம்ாரணம்ாரணம்ாரணம்ாரணம்ாரணம்ாரணம்ாரணம்ாரணம்ாரணம்ாரணம்ாரண
devotional culture or of Brahminical culture, they always talk about it being sattvic. So like uh, the prasadam is very sattvic or the way this person speaks is very sattvic. And it's a very positive adjective in that sense. So when you hear that, um, shouldn't we strive to be more in the mode of goodness? Or is that not enough? Should we still attempt to transcend it? Transcendence means Shuddha Sattva, the mode of pure goodness, goodness which is not influenced by any passion or ignorance. So you have, we have to come up to the mode of goodness and then we have to go on to the mode of pure goodness. That pure goodness, that is transcendent. Mm. What Krishna says in Bhagavad Gita, Mamchayo Vaya Bicharena Bhakti Yogena Sevate. Sagunam Samati Jaikam Brahma Puryaya Kampi. That one who engages in my devotional service without falling down, then they transcend the modes of material nature and come to the level of Brahman. Problem is we fall down. <laughs> we do some devotional service and then we get some Rajagun and Tamagun. <laughs> so we have to come up to that level of goodness where there is no Rajas and Tamas. It takes some practice. You have to constantly endeavor in this art to come to that level where we're no longer falling down. We see in the sixth chapter of the Bhagavad Gita, Lord Krishna was describing to Arjuna about how to control the mind and how to meditate. And Arjuna said, oh, I can't do that. My mind is more so restless. It's always disturbed. In the Bhagavad Gita, in the Bhagavad Gita, in the Bhagavad Gita, Krishna Arjuna is going to be able to do it. He is going to be able to do it. But Lord Krishna said, well, I know it's difficult, but it's possible. He said, Abhyasena Tukuntiya Vairagena Chakri. It's possible by Abhyas, practice, and by Vairag, detachment. Those two things are required. Then you can become steady. We have to let go of all the maya, all the material activities, and we have to focus more on things in relation to Krishna consciousness. Okay.
शिव कम पाए जय इस होलीनेस भक्ति विघ्न विनाश नरसिंह महाराज की जय शिव कम पाए जय थैंक यू सो मच महाराज फॉर द वेरी नाइस एनलाइटनिंग फॉर ऑल अस हरे कृष्णा Thank you.